Yo, what is going on today, fam? We are back again. And as you can see behind me, we have the vet. And uh, close down wash rack. Because at the time I'm shooting this, uh, this is a coronavirus time. So that's why everything is blocked off. So today, what we're going to be doing is doing a walk around around the vet, talking about everything I have done to the car um, and what my inspiration for the car. So we'll start with like what my inspiration was. So I come from a JDM car background. So if you look at the way I built my car, you'll see a lot of JDM influence throughout the build. Um, and my car is built with more of a handling aspect in mind. I like balance in a car. I don't like uh, more power and then the chassis can handle. I like the car to feel balanced. I come from Miatas, things of that nature. So I'm very into it. And I think you'll see it uh, with the direction I took for the car. So let's get into it. We are gonna get into the exterior first. So with the exterior, as you guys can probably see already, I have a LED low beam headlight upgrade. So the stock uh, halogen bulbs are super trash in these and Aftermarket HID kits usually suck, so I went with LEDs. I love the way these look. I love the ultra white light. Um, coming down, I have aftermarket uh, corner uh, lenses installed. They're a clear corner lenses, and I have uh, switchback LEDs. So what the switchback LEDs are, so they're daytime running lights, right? They are uh, just white right now, but when I put on my left or right turn signal, um, and then it'll flash between white and a bright orange color. I also have this yellow film over my corner lights. Um, I just like that yellow look. I wanted a yellow fog lights on these, but my car doesn't have fog lights. So I just think that the tenant lit a look looks pretty dope. I also have a after dark, um, it's either after dark speed or after dark racing front tow hook also uh which i did an install video on those here right like how could you not see it i got my track spec uh, motorsports hood vent super awesome mod that i really love and i think it transformed the look of the car but also is very functional as in it allows hot air to escape and also pressure so this works um to eliminate a front end lift and also keep my oil and my cooling temps lower, which is also a good thing. Moving on to the back. I have LED tail lights. These are the non-halo mod versions, but in the future I will be doing the halo mods on these because I think it looks sick. I have a rear tow hook from After Dark um, Speed also. I have my RBD Racing spoiler fully bolt on really really dope i got my little ig sticker and my gen is it gen by itadi it's like it means a horse and rider is one so pretty much a you and your car is one as you can see miata right there because i love my miatas man um so yeah i got leds here got led a license plate lights it's a little light but you can see them and i got led reverse lights let me see if I can show you guys those. Quiet down, car, quiet down. Okay, so. Uh -oh. Oh, I'll be forgetting what reverse is. So, LED reverse lights, nice and bright. I also have a LED third brake light with the, with a flasher built in. I'll show you guys right quick. Dope, right? I think so too. I think so too. So that's pretty much it for the exterior of the car. Moving on to the interior. I think the centerpiece of the interior is obviously the Sparco Grid Q racing bucket. Um, it is held together by Marad Industries, a uh, low pro seat mount. I also did a video on this, so you guys can check that. Okay, so I know a lot of y'all probably will have questions on where I got a lot of this stuff, but do me a favor, please go and check out my other videos first, because I did a lot of uh, videos on actually um, installing this stuff. 
So it will like give you links and tell you, you know, like who made it and where I got it from and like how to actually install this stuff. So please do me that solid. <laughs> so yeah, I have the Murad Industries um, low pro seat mount. As you can see, I have a quick release hub. This is an NRG hub um, with an NRG 2.5 quick release. My steering wheel right here, I have the personal Grinta 350 millimeter steering wheel. It is a, a leather instead of a suede or Alcantara because that wears way too quick. And I drive this car. Hold on, let me get that off. Ah, there we go. Got that off. So, um, aftermarket uh, stereo right here. I don't know why I didn't go with a Bluetooth stereo. Like, I don't know what I was thinking when I did this, but neglected to go with the Bluetooth stereo. Um, MGW uh, shifter with a eBay Derlin C5 shift knob. Also did a video on that for you guys. Let's see, we'll pop the trunk. Boom. So I have a flush mount a subwoofer box. I have a 12 inch sub. I think it's like, I don't even know, 400 watts. I got a small kicker amp. I got this whole setup on eBay. If you like Google C5 eBay sub kit or whatever, you know, like they'll have these whole little kits that you can buy, which I thought that that was pretty dope. It works pretty well. It works pretty well. Um, moving on to my wheels, tires, and brakes. So I am running C5 Z06 rear wheels all around. So I'm running a square setup. So these are 18 by 10 and a half all around. I am running Federal 595 RS Pro tires and 275 35 18s, but they are actually bigger than 275s. They're, uh, they're somewhere between a 285 and 295. Uh, Federal just has a weird way of uh, measuring their tires. So I have the Muteki a uh, black tuner style lug nuts they are not aluminum they are steel it's not a good idea to run aluminum uh, lug nuts because they do strip out and you can lose a wheel so just keep that in mind y'all um and as you can see hiding behind there i have a 14 inch wheelwood big brake kit uh it's a six piston kit my front pads are carbotech xp10s my rear pads are Carbotech XP8s. As you can see, still the rear stock uh, braking setup. Didn't want to do anything too crazy. Didn't really need to upgrade anything more there. Let's see, should we go engine or transmission next? We'll go with engine. We'll go with engine. So, this car, should be making around 400 wheel. The reason why I say it should be making 400 wheel is because I have not had a chance to dyno it yet. So once that happens, uh, obviously I'll give you guys a accurate um, setup. Ooh, my fault, man. Going back, I do have a stainless steel lines all around. I have a Tick Performance Clutch Master Cylinder. Um, so you guys that are familiar with the C5s, I know that if you're doing a pull for a prolonged period of time, your clutch will get stuck to the floor. The Tick Performance Clutch Master Cylinder will fix that issue. That's one of the things I did not do a video on because didn't have time, but just one of the things. Um, brake fluid, I'm running a Dot4 ATE uh, Type 200 a brake fluid. So going back to the engine, uh, it's a, and so going back to the engine modifications, I got a GM ASA camshaft that I installed. I have speed engineering headers. I have NR, uh, NGK TR55IX Iridium spark plugs. Um, MSD wires with these little wire protectors uh, to protect them from the speed engineering headers. I have a black wing intake up front and it is tuned by EFI tuning. So um, valve train wise, I'm not, I don't wanna get too deep into the engine with y'all cause God, there was so much stuff I did, but valve train wise, I got a BTR tuning upgrade, one piece 
uh, Push Rides, Pack 1218, Vow Springs, um, Comp Cams, Machine Valve Locks. I got an ATI, a super damper right there. Really cool mod. The front end, when I did the cam swap, I went through and uh, changed all the gaskets and stuff like that that you want to do when you are doing that. I got a melling high volume oil excuse me, a melling a melling high pressure oil pump, not the high volume, but I am not running cats and it is running to the OEM titanium axle backs. So let's see how she sounds. Take her out of gear so we don't go flying. As you can see, she's running pretty smooth. Running pretty smooth. I also have this little guy here, which is an MSD uh, two-step. So uh, this car does have two-step. It shoots flames and all that stuff uh, when it's warm enough. Um, it's not gonna be warm enough to shoot flames now, but I'll still uh, we'll hit the two-step for you guys. I have a Corvette Accessories oil catch can right here because LS's do like to eat oil, but two-step action coming your way. That is about it, I think, I think. Y'all, I'm just winging this off the top of my head, so I might forget a thing or two, but if you see something I forgot but you got a question about, you know, just put it in the comments below, and then I will do my best to answer your question. So, engine-wise, we got that. So, suspension, which I think that this is where this car shines, I mean, literally shines. So, first off, I'm gonna get underneath the car a little bit. You can see these nice yellow sway bars. So these are the Johnny O'Connells. Um, to be honest with you, I upgraded a spray bar for the performance, but I went with this brand because I like the color. I think the yellow looks sick because you can see it from behind. Tell me that doesn't look dope. So Johnny O'Connell spray bars. I have Bill Stein shocks, but these are the Doug Rippey Motorsports Bill Stein shocks. And unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to see those. And I don't have a lift here, but I guess we're gonna have to imagine. So one of the cool mods that I have that a lot of people don't know about, I'm gonna have to turn the wheels for y'all to hopefully be able to see. kind of see but right there all that purple craziness going on in there hold on let me give y'all a little bit of light just a little bit of light okay so all that purple craziness going on in there so what this is that is a slr speed quick steering kit hey hey everybody what's oh, whoa, going whoa, whoa, on whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, my man. It's my video right now, right? So that is an SLR Speed Quick Steering Kit, also known as an Angle Kit. So what that does is that actually makes the steering on the Corvette a lot quicker. The turn to turn, so much sharper. So one of the things I could not stand uh, stock about the C5 is how slow the steering was. It made it feel absolutely numb. So one of my favorite mods on this car I kid you not it has adjustable uh, Ackerman and so you can fine tune it um, obviously tie rods all that good stuff but if the if, hmm, if you have a track car or a C5 that you drive spiritly and you don't like the way the steering feels give that a go another thing I have in here that you'll be able to see is if you look at my control arms I have poly 
excuse me, I have energy uh, suspension bushings. Did not do a video on those either because those took a while. Um, also on the lower control arms, they are on all four control arms actually. So those made a huge difference to the way the car felt and responded uh, with the road. Let me turn off my light on my phone. But yeah, those made a huge difference uh, in uh, just the way the car felt, you know, it firmed up the suspension, took out that uh, looseness in the suspension um because the stock bushings in the corvette suspension are very very soft so it made a huge difference in it um and you can get a better look at the tread right here on the federal 595 uh pros which this is a 200 tread wear tire very sticky perfect for this car um i did my Power steering, uh, solid rack bushing also, took out the rubber bushing. That was apart from DRM. Um, I have a street track alignment. These alignment settings come from PDEF. They are, I'm running negative three degrees in the front, negative 2.2 degrees in the rear. I think zero toe, yeah. And I think that's all. Um, what else do we have done to this car, man? I don't want to waste y'all time, you know, while I'm over here thinking, but that's pretty much the gist of it. But to give y'all a idea of what, uh, like some of my favorite mods were, um, turn off those lights. So one, the seat, uh, cause the stock uh, Corvette seats are terrible. You know, you, you feel like you're driving on top of the car instead of in the car. Um, you slide around everywhere. You don't feel like you're held in place. Number two, was the steering wheel. Um, and so, obviously, y'all know, but the stock, excuse me, uh, but the stock steering wheel is just terrible. It's huge, it's bulky, it doesn't feel good in your hand. That really made a difference. And then the MGW shifter, y'all know, the stock shifters, it's trash. <laughs> Pretty much anything you touch in the Corvette, like you have to change, you know? But uh, with doing these mods made a huge difference huge difference um the slr speed kit huge difference the drm bill stein shocks huge difference um and just how planted and compliant of the car feels going over bumps uh and things of that nature uh also i forgot to tell y'all my car is lowered um Obviously, I still on boats. I don't have coilovers yet, but when I do, I will be running Fortunatos because I love them. But yeah, so it's lowered on stock boats. Let me close everything up for y'all so y'all can actually see. But if you look at the car, you can see it's a bit lower um, and then your average C5. But yeah, I don't want to drag this video out any longer, man. That was a walk around of my car um, and what all I have done to the car right now. Um, so right now, and the car is like pretty much where I want it, but I will be doing a few more modifications in the future. Nothing too crazy uh, while I'm in Germany. Um, might get a little bit crazy on power uh, when I get to the States, but for right now, she's perfect and she's ready to hit the ring and just go. But yeah, man, I will also be doing a build cost video where you'll get a in-depth look at how much all these parts cost um engine exterior transmission all that stuff like that uh and so y'all will be able to get an idea of like how much it would cost to build this car if you were to uh, replicate it but yeah i appreciate y'all watching take it easy i'm out bring that right back i forgot Please do like and subscribe. We are climbing up in uh, subscribers and to all my OG uh, people uh, and that's been with me and been uh, super active with me, uh, hit me up on IG, you know, and leaving me a positive um, a criticism um, and telling me and that they appreciate my videos. Yo, I appreciate y'all, man, because I do it for y'all. But take it easy. I'm out.